So if this command fails, then it will print this line, connection timeout. In the good old days, people, especially system administrators, used telnet to test the port or clearly to check the, if the port is open or not, or they just used telnet to access the remote systems. Telnet was not installed by default, that's why you needed to install it and then use it. However, the telnet protocol is not encrypted. That's why people no longer use it to access the remote systems. But some people still use it to test the port connectivity. However, in some IT companies, for security reasons, you are not even allowed to install Telnet on Linux servers. This is why you need to learn some basic alternatives to Telnet. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you what operating system I am using. So I'm going to use cat etc, then OS release. So I'm using CentOS Stream 9. If we type Telnet, it says command not found. So Telnet is not installed by default on most modern Linux distributions. I'm just going to say no. And of course, we don't need to install because we have some nice alternatives. The number one tool is Netcat, which is also called NC. On popular Linux distributions like Ubuntu, Debian, CentOS, the Netcat utility is pre-installed. In CentOS, just type NC and you will see that it's already there. NC utility is widely available and provides a straightforward way to test the port connectivity. Let's test port 22 on localhost. I'm going to use, let me just clear the screen. So let's choose NC, then let V. And what host we have to check, we're going to check localhost 0.0.1 .0 and on port 23, sorry, 22. Let's press enter. So this port is open, that's why the connection was successful. But port 23 is not open, let's check it. Yes, our connection was refused. Here we have used two options, Z and V. So V option is for the verbos mode. And Z option specifies that NCAT should only scan for listening demons without sending any data. That's why here we see that 0 bytes sent and 0 byte received. This package, I mean the NetCAT package, has many useful options. So if it's interesting, then you can check the MAM page. The number 2 is curl command, which is also pre-installed on many Linux distributions. We are going to use the Telnet scheme to test the port connectivity. Let's clear the screen. So let's use curl and for the verbose mode, let's use V option. And after that, we're going to use Telnet scheme. It is 2 dash slash slash. And then which host? It will be localhost. So dot zero dot zero dot one and on port 22. Let's check. Yes, it's trying to connect this localhost on port 22. So it's successful, it's connected. So the port is open. Let's also use port 23. And the connection is closed. So port is closed. But of course you might wonder, in the beginning I said that Telnet protocol is not secure. Why we use it here? First of all, you don't need to install Telnet utility to use the Telnet scheme with curl. Let me show you. Telnet is not installed in our system, as you see. The curl utility actually will handle the Telnet functionality internally. The purpose is to utilize the curl to establish a Telnet connection to localhost on port 22. And here we just invoke the Telnet functionality within the curl. But yeah, if you are really concerned about security, then it's not recommended to use this command. Anyway, let's jump to the last method. The last method is to use the dev tcp virtual file system, which is created by the shell on the fly when needed. What I mean by saying on the fly means if you check dev tcp path, you will see that there is no such directory. Let's check it. Dev tcp. So it says no such directory. However, this directory will be created when it is needed. 
It allows for simple TCP IP socket communication. So let's use it. I need to check the TCP and then what host it will be local host that one and on what port it will be 22 and I will use input redirection to cat command to read from the TCP socket that's why in the beginning I'm gonna use cats then input redirection let's press enter so if the command succeeds without any error it indicates that it is successful as it is successful here but if we try to connect to port 23 it will say that connection refused actually you can just simply redirect the input of this command i mean dev tcp you can redirect the input of this command to back shell so let's do that you don't need to write cat here you can just write like that if it is successful it will give no error yes but how we can check that if it is successful we can use echo dollar sign and then question mark so the output is zero it means that the command the previous command was successful and basically it also means that the port 22 is open and if we check 23 it will say connection refused but let's make our command a bit more clear if the port is open it will say port is open otherwise port is closed so I'm gonna use the same command but here I'm gonna say and echo let's say port is open otherwise or echo port is closed and that's it let's check the first let's check 22 press enter so it says port is open and if we check the 23 it says port is closed but the point is it might be also possible that the host itself is not reachable maybe it is just switched off etc if we use this command and the host is not reachable then our command will say the port is closed but it is wrong actually the port might be open we just can't reach the host that's why we should get a timeout error not port is closed output let me just implement it so i'm gonna say i'm gonna use the same command but in the beginning i'm gonna say timeout one which simply sets a timeout of one second for the command execution if the command takes longer than one second to complete the timeout will terminate it and another thing is that we should tell the timeout utility to execute this command I mean this command to execute this command using bash shell that's why in the here I will say bash c and we're gonna use single quotes here and here as well so this is our command and instead of this local host I'm gonna use 192 168.0.6 and let's say port 22 and let's run this command let's do one more time so as you see that it didn't say the port is open or closed which means that command just took more than one second to complete that's why the timeout utility terminated it. Now let's say if this command fails or times out within one second, just print echo like connection timeout. So I'm gonna use this command again. But here I'm gonna say or echo connection timeout. So if this command fails, then it will print this line connection timeout let's press enter yes it works it says connection timeout but if we use localhost port 23 it should say port is closed right so 128.0.0.1 yes it says port is closed 
So today you have just learned three best ways to test port connectivity if you don't have Telnet installed. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. But that's all from me. Bye and I will see you in the next video.